This story is from a long time ago, nearly five decades. Mitt Romney, in 1965, was a senior at a Michigan prep school, the Cranbrook School, and he apparently could not stand another student there. With fairly long hair, soft-spoken, John Lauber, who most kids at the school thought was gay. I think what began as sort of ribbing degenerated into uh, an assault. It was a very disturbing incident for everybody that was there who witnessed it. Philip Maxwell, now a Michigan attorney, was a friend of Romney's at the time. He says that he and some other kids went along as they pinned down the boy, and Romney cut his hair. Uh, I remember a young man being very terrified. I remember uh, the realization almost immediately that this whole thing had gone too far, and it was destructive and wrong, and uh, I think that feeling is shared by everybody who was either involved in it or witnessed it. Do you recall what Mitt Romney did? What his role in it was? Yeah. Well, he was kind of, I think he conceived of the thing. He had the scissors in his hand. You know, I'd have to say that he was the ringleader of it. But Romney, speaking on Fox Radio's Kill Mead and Friends, said he doesn't recall the incident. But as the tracks that were played back then, I I don't remember them all, but again, you know, high school days, and I did stupid things like, uh, I, I'm afraid that I, I, I got I to gotta say sorry for it. Philip Maxwell told me that no one who was there could ever forget it. I find it hard to believe that he doesn't remember this incident. It's hard to know how this story could affect voters in November. It's clear from President Obama's sudden stance on gay marriage that attitudes toward gays will be some kind of a ballot box issue, even if that means going back five decades. Well, you know, I think if you run for president, you better expect this kind of thing. Carl Stevens, WBC News Radio, 1030.